You sure our boy's gonna show? This isn't exactly his neighborhood, Goldie. This isn't home for us either, Piper. Back home, this guy's the biggest of the big baddies. I know people who wouldn't even say his name out of fear that they would lose their firstborn. Psst. What kind of name is Rumpelstiltskin anyways? All right, you two, stay mum. Here he comes, the squirted bugger. Remember, Piper, dear, he's expecting a dealer named Hans to give him a piece of the magic mirror. And where he goes, death messengers are never far behind. Where's Hans? Couldn't make it. He sent me. I'm Piper. Did you, did you bring it? It's nearby. Are you feeding, pal? Careful, Piper. If you know Hans, then you know why I need it. Sure, sure. You're running out of juice and you need a little taste of the good stuff. Great A magic mirror. Ground up for... What, you snorted? Do you have it? Anything for Rumpel Steel. Hey. Don't move. It's new. Where is it, huh? Where is it? I told you, it's nearby. Alice? Piper's fine. Stay put. I don't want him in that blonde little head of yours, too. Where did you hear that name? Hans. You're lying. Hans would never tell you that name. Do you know why? Because I told him not to. Just like I can tell you to give me what I need. And do it. Give it to me now! Uh-oh. <laughs> You lost your juice, pal? No, 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 not now. Who sent you? Was it them? Who's them? Alice, something's happening. It's him. Death. Or oh, one of his messengers. His powers are gone. After him. You can't move. Did you think you could hide from him? You were supposed to bring him the magic mirror. You broke it, and you cheated. Death doesn't like to be cheated. Next time, tell him to read the fine print. <laughs> tell him yourself. <laughs> Alice, Lord. <laughs> Curiouser and curiouser. We've made a delightful mess of things, haven't we? Let's not dally now. It's through the looking glass for you. <coughs> Sting on. Hats off to our newly arrived guest. I'm sure you have also some new questions. Oh, yes. Thank but you. But for now, now, a word of word advice. advice. Don't try too terribly hard to keep your head. Some would say to survive here, you have to be as mad as a hatter. Most people think me quite mad. Monsters and magic. Uncommon nonsense, they say. Perhaps I am mad. Why, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. But... I've seen wonder. And mad or not, you're quite real. Someone needs to make sure you're not being naughty. After all, it was you who turned the fabric of reality into something not unlike Swiss cheese, I'm afraid. So sorry you're unable to speak. I'd prefer to be absolutely certain you've lost your powers of persuasion before loosening that silver tongue of yours. A reminder, dear Alice, our good Piper's just returned from a jaunt at the zoo and he's brought a guest. 
and Miss Goldilocks shall have her day when she returns on female busting and all the fault time. Seeing as you're strange, I'm sure she didn't tell you, but keep your appendages the method, but keep him to yourself. Else the light might be bit off by what's hiding below. Your new cellmate has This big baddie was our first recruit. That's a good wolfie. First of many. Before I remember, will one of the tweeters please forget to give the good dog your proper hosing? That little little is called the tad right right. As you can see. Your meddlings brought all sorts of grim beasties and monsters from your world to mine. Unfortunately, you've also let something else in. Something worse. A cult, armed and working for Death himself. Death's messengers. I think you know them. Judging by your friend in the alleyway, they're planning something, and it's up to us to stop them. I'll be clear. Whether I allow you to speak or not depends entirely on what you're willing to say. Tell me everything you know about these messengers. If you cooperate, I can make your stay here a tad more comfortable. Perhaps even you won't have to eat through a straw for the rest of your life. <laughs> Otherwise, breaking that magic mirror will bring you a lot more than just seven years bad luck, I'm afraid. We'll keep rounding up monsters. You can decide whether you want to be one or not. Blink twice if you've understood me. And blink twice if we have a deal. <laughs> Suit yourself. I'll leave you to think about it. Traded influence for favors, delusions of grandeur for sure, but never quite got any real powers of his own. A whisper from him and a king will hand over his crown, a army will retreat. Yeah. At least that was before he broke the magic mirror. It was a gateway between worlds. He could have used it to go anywhere. But he broke it. <laughs> Somehow tied himself to it and he needs it or he's powerless. Honestly, I don't get it. If his powers aren't working, then he's just a glorified con man. Why do you want him? It's not what he can do that I'm interested in. It's what he knows, who he knows. 
I'm convinced he wants something from these messengers. Or perhaps more likely, that they want something from him. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty spooked back in the alley. I gotta go with Alice on this one, Goldie. If you say so. Who's next? The big bad wolf. Got a temper on her. Didn't recognize him back home, but I know the type. Found him in the zoo, of all places. He was eating the animals. You didn't see what he did to those poor little pigs. <laughs> Took six trank darts just to bring them down. <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose my head. <laughs> what, you seen worse? I've lived with worse. Mm. Goes by Bluebeard, obvious reasons. Has a set of blades he calls his wives. Somehow they make him stronger every time he kills someone. When I picked one up, I could feel the life force of everyone he's killed. Almost like it was flowing through me, making me stronger. But then he kills women. A lot of them. Is that you in there, Goaty? <sighs> oh, he quite fancies you, doesn't he? Yes, it is you. Well, since those bears didn't tear you apart, Come sleep in my bed, Cody. You okay with him being here? Oh, Cody. He doesn't scare me. When I signed up for this, it was to get rid of guys like this, not start a collection. Oh, fire with fire and all that. If we're to beat these messengers, sooner or later, we'll need some monsters of our own. It's a start. Get back out there, you two. We've reports of missing persons turning up half-eaten. If I had to guess, I'd say which. If possible, I'd have you find her before her next meal. Ugh. It smells like the place. I hate witches. <laughs> Careful, Piper. We're here to catch a witch. Table for two, huh? You shouldn't be far from whatever this is. Goldie, he's a messenger. What would a witch want with one of Death's messengers? You are invited!
Mission accomplished. Let's bag her up. Ladies and gentlemen, men, may we welcome another guest to the party. Apologies for the neck restraint. Makes you much less. Much less than you were before. My name's Carabas. Cannibal witch. I... I don't even know where to start. She's in love with death. He knew who you were, who we were. Somehow she was able to help him possess a messenger corpse. Alice, death seemed almost happy to see us. Then let's figure out if she's part of death's plan. Clock's ticking, after all. Splendid. We're making an impression. We've been chasing after these messengers while you've been running around looking for what's left of that mirror. There's nothing magical about you at all, is there? Picked this up from one of their nasty little rituals. I suspect you know what it is, what it can do. I'd like you to tell me so we have some chance of stopping them. I've had my suspicions. You've run dry. Why else would you be so desperate to get your hands on that little bit of extra power? Unless there's something out there that scares you more than me. The contrawise, I'm dumb. Of course you are. 
I'll get it next time. hurt no one no how I know I know we must find her before she causes any more damage Cut the feet somehow. Why wouldn't she just leave? Why indeed? There must be something she wants. You remember that little resurrection trick she did? The morgue? Yeah. I'm gonna go check it out. Good, go. Would you like to sit this tumble out, love? Contrawise, Mom. That's a good boy. Off to the army with you then. Lock the doors and watch for witches. This one is in love with death. If she's still lurking about, I've no doubt she'll head there next looking for his scythe. Which reminds me, collect Rumpelstiltskin and meet me upstairs. you've kept anything from me that would have saved his life. I'll have your head. Everything almost ready. Just send your messengers and let me take care of the rest. Oh, they're on their way, all right. Kill every one of them and bring me still skin. First best through the bags we a monster gets to skip one circle of hell.
against you. Death has come and found us wanting, I'm afraid. As you can see, we're under attack, and I'm a tad short-handed. You're either with us or not. I'm hoping these ensure the former. Pick them up in Wonderland, although I fear I don't recall how. Quite explosive. My little insurance policy. It's time for you to prove your usefulness. Sorry I can't wait around for you to come to your senses on your own time. You see, sense is a rather useless sentiment with so much senselessness afoot. You work for me now. If you try to leave, I'll kill you. If you try to remove it, I'll kill you. As a matter of fact, if you do anything I don't like, I'll kill you. Blink twice if we have a deal. Splendid. Now, you have a visitor. I believe you've met Her Majesty, Queen of Hearts. Your first task is to get her to wear this. Welcome to Looking Glass. Hello! You're the baby! What are you doing here? What's going on out there? It's the messengers. The place is crawling with them. It's gonna be like herding mice getting rid of. Who is she? <sighs> she's one of mine. So she's nuts? Apparently the two of them used to be an item, if that tells you anything. Rumpy, you look terrible. <sighs> Why am I not surprised to find you between yet another rock and hard place? How did you know I was here? Oh, I always like to know right where you are. I couldn't let anything happen to my little rumpy. What have you gotten yourself into? Well, it's been a little rough since the last time I saw you. Apparently, if you've thrown in with this lot. You do know that Alice is quite batty, don't you? So maybe we can take this reunion to the cell block, considering we're a little exposed here. We're reasonably safe if she's near. She's unhinged, unpredictable, and unfortunately, something of a secret weapon. If she's going to help, we'll need him to convince her. She can control them. Any man, really. Any man but him. Oh, trust me. She's... Nuts! Completely insane! And she's got me by the balls, Gelda. Oh, does she? Oh, yes. Right under her thumb. Well, we can't have that. escaped whenever you wanted to. Why didn't you? <laughs> when we found you, you were eating the zoo animals for food. Is that because you didn't want to hurt people? Hurt 
Right now, that's a talent we could use. Tell me, what is it that she wants from you? Oh, she thinks I have something to do with death and his messengers. And do you? Of course not. But she won't help me unless I help her stop them. If I'm going to get out of this, I need your help. Of course you do. And I can leave any time I want, darling. But I can't. I need your help. Please, baby. What do you need me to do? I need you to put this on. That's mine! Oh, no. Goodbye, Rumpy. You're on your own. Call me if you make it out of this. Do I have to beg? Then beg. Gelda. My queen. My love. Do you love me? What's not to love? Yes, yes, I love you. But you left me. Well, you did marry a king. Oh, king of the morons and the crazies. I hate crazy, I hate it. Rumpy, it was so boring without you. You were supposed to come visit. And I waited and I waited for you to get your hands on that mirror and you broke it. Oh, I'm sorry. That was an accident, really, baby. I, I never really wanted to be here with her. I, I'd much rather be here with you. I'm waiting. <clears throat> Gelda, queen of hearts, queen of my heart. Please, show me kindness. Stay. Baby, you know I can never be apart from you. <sighs> You're lucky I've always had a soft spot for you. Mm. Sometimes I wonder how much of that was real and how much of that was mind control. Oh, Gelda, you and I both know I could never control you. Nor I you. You agreed to help. I do. <laughs> Splendid. It's official. You sure you want to strap bounce to these nut jobs? Uh, let's not think too much about it, shall we? Trust me. One now then. Now we let the monsters out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, what now? Gelda, darling, meet Bluebeard. He's a nasty one. He'll need a little of your convincing. I'd like him in Goldilocks care. She's no stranger to brutes. Why would I help you? Hmm. Is this our naughty boy? I don't like it any more than you do. But I'm without options at present. to slaughter all of you. It'll be fun. You'll help because I tell you to, silly. You'll, You'll be a, be a good, good boy and do everything as good as we tell you to do. Don't worry. Won't, Won't you? you? If she can mind control him like that, any reason why we can't just put her on the PA and tell these guys to back off? Unfortunately, her charms only work in person. How do you do it anyway? Uh, some of us are natural leaders, darling. Goldilocks, dear. What about our Wolfie? Can I trust you?
then trust me. Mm. He'll be fine. That settles that then. Rumpelstiltskin. Tell us what you know. Thought you'd never ask. Well, he calls himself Death. Total Hack! He runs a shit show called The Underworld. You see, he's just a hustler. He does something for you, you do something for him. He gets your soul for The Underworld. Now, a while back, he'd asked me to get a hold of something for him. The old magic mirror. He wanted to use it to come here and take over. So, I broke it. And now he's just stuck there and can't get anything done anywhere else without acting through his cult. Death's messengers. Ooh, scary. But, they're just people who can be killed. Luckily, you're all excellent killers. If he's here, it's because he knows you have the scythe. If they get it to that witch, she'll be able to perform a ritual that will summon death here to this realm, and that, my friends, would be a real problem. Death and decay spreading like a cancer. Hmm. Etc. 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 And that's why we're going to stop him. Excuse me? And why you're all going to help. Attention, Death's messengers. We're not afraid of you. We know what you're after, and you'll never get your bony hands on it. I'm afraid you're about to find out what we've been keeping in our basement. This is your last warning. Yo, mice! Leave my facility or you won't like what happens next. Let us off. Full of monsters was a bad idea. Concert. You good here? I'm off to my witch hunt. I got these two. Bluebeard's having his fun, and the wolf is. Well, he's working out some ankle injuries. At least it's not mice. <laughs> oh, Rumpy, I am very disappointed. No, 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 no. Listen. We should divide our time and find ourselves in the armory. What's the door? The magic mirror. She's got some of it locked up with that big, fat. Enough for one last shot of the old magic. At least, enough for her to let me go. Oh, well then clearly you don't need me then. Whoa, 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 whoa. tell the baby, come on! It's your little rump roast, please. Plan. Huh? Running out of messages here, witch. 
bitch. See how desperate she is. Desperate enough to let Rumble Stilt skin out of his hidey hole. So they're working together. <laughs> That's adorable. Listen, seriously. So let's see this through, right? Play her game and make her think she's in charge. If you believe that, you're even madder than she is. Kill the weight! Stop it! <laughs> what? that, don't you, baby? I want to talk to Stillskin. Want to make that happen? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Maybe you're not as useless as I thought, huh? So, which? Hey. Yeah. Oh, you want Piper? now. Taking too long. Mustn't waste time. You're late. You're late. You're late. You've gone and mucked things up, Alice. You figured out the planes, but not the game. You know who loves games, don't you, Alice? Oh, God. I'd be surprised if that was the last of the messengers. I imagine it wasn't. You're back to witch duty. Apologies, love. Seems it's going to be a long night. 
Off you pop. Yes, Mom. Hatta. Alice. Well, we all had a good bloody time on your behalf, so you should be pleased. So, what do you say we take these off? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely not. Don't be! You said that if I played along that she would take this off me. <laughs> Kill the baby! It's just so Alice here feels a little safe. Do you feel safe? I doubt very much that she'd blow me up with all of us standing here. Don't be so certain. I'm getting bored of this game! Pretty soon I won't want to play anymore. You're killing me here. Imagine going home to that every night. Hatter, I need you to take a little trip for me, love. What fun. Where are we going? Well, the underworld, I'm afraid. Well, then, that'll take a nip of the good stuff. I thought you might say that. No better trip outside of Wonderland. Are we really doing this, Alice? Oh, don't worry about Hatter, dear. This will be mild compared to what he got up to in Wonderland. If you say so. What's wrong? Are you serious? I can't believe she's doing this. Desperate times, Goldie? Alice took us in, and for a while, everything felt just right. Lately, I'm wondering if we made a mistake in trusting her. <laughs> Classic Goldilocks. I'm serious, Piper. I know. Well, then act like it. I am. Look, I'm gonna go back to my witch hunt, and I'm gonna go check on Tudor. Dumb. His brother's dead, Piper. It's not funny anymore. We'll get through this, Goldie. Okay? Remember, Hatter, the underworld. I need to know what death is planning. Yes, yes, yes. Do yes. you think you can do that for me? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have I fancy to tumble down the old rabbit hole, dear. All right, then. Sit back. Bad vibes here, dear Alice. Tastes like mutiny, murder, malice. Have I made a rhyme? Uh, uh. I uh, feel like the pop. Good stuff. He'll be like this for some time. Psst. Hey, buddy. Seen any witches? Contra-wise, if the witch was here, you wouldn't need to ask no how. L listen. I'm sorry about your brother. I know I wasn't the nicest to him, but you, you know I... I... <sighs> it's okay. I'll be a big guy. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. How long is this going to take? There's nasty business afoot this evening, Alice, my dear. Yes, Hatter. We know. What nasty business? What are they looking for? Best to be quick like now. They nearly have everything they need. What do they need, Hatter? The prickly thing. The scythe. And the proper tie, of course. A tire? 
For, for what? Hat or what attire? But for the grand party, of course. But you aren't like the guest list. Death is coming. And he has grand plans for you. Grand, grand, big funny plans. <laughs> what does he mean? What does death want with you? I want to stop him as much as you do. Where's Gelda? Goldilocks, be a dear and head outside to check. Gelda, darling, don't make me blow you up, sweetheart. Gelda, come back. Gelda, come back. back. Gelda, I'm not joking. Not one more step. Let me talk to her. I, I can give her the rumpy noodle. Come on. All right, baby. Okay. <laughs> All right, big guy. <laughs> Let's go. Uh -oh. You're okay. Get it done. She'll take that damn scythe with her. No, 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 please. Let me talk to her. Let me go and get her. You two are pals, right? You remember the magic mirror? The last time I broke something like that, it got us into this whole mess in the first place. But the scythe is even more powerful. No one knows what'll happen if it goes off. <laughs> please, Alice, come on. Fine. Ten minutes, or I'll kill you both. Good. I can make it work. <laughs> Why do you care? Because I love her. Of course. <sighs> Tonight's the night, my love. <sighs> Only if you keep your promise, witch. I will. I will. Oh, yeah. Then do it. Hatter, I can. 
could use a riddle about now. Alice, you don't see much of the riddling sport. How does something happen? We've lost another friend. Perhaps I ought to lose one more. Alice? Bring me one of the bodies. The messages? Yes. Go. Okay. Wake him up. I want to talk to him. What makes you think he wants to talk to you? Because I want to offer him a deal. Is this the part where one of us says, so we find him at last? We finally meet at last. What do you got for me? A consolation prize, really. You see, we'll never let you have your little ceremony. Forget your interest in this realm. And I'll give you Rumpelstiltskin. Did I get you? Anyway, I just had the most interesting conversation with the rabbit chaser. You gotta hear about it. You. Yo. <laughs> you have caused me some trouble, bud. Look, buddy. Can you scroll me down the bottom here? Kind of on a clock, courtesy of Alice. You know she tried to trade you. She... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Offered you right up. Yeah. To be fair, I should say, you know, her world for your worthless life. But there's no question there. There's no trust between you two. Hey. Ironically, she still has no idea that you are way more valuable to me than you are to her. So what do you want, huh? Spit it out. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What I've always wanted. For you broke the mirror. Accident? Hey. There were setbacks. It's cool, baby. I'm flexible. I got a backup plan. You. How's that? Bodies there. So fragile they deteriorate so quickly, but well, you well, see you you've had real power, you just pissed it all away. And now you're just scrambling to get it back. See, in your body, in your body, I'd be permanent. Home. <laughs> Look, buddy, uh, I'm not seeing the silver lining here, pal. Give me your body. I'd rather let Alice blow me up. And you get the underworld. We have the witch, the scythe, and Goldie will be back soon. There could only be so many messengers out there. Then tell me this. If we've won, why is she so tickled? Look, you've always wanted to be more than just a lap dog. Yeah. Real power. Oh. A kingdom of your own. Yeah. So be my lap dog. Trade me your body now. I'll rule this realm, and you can have my scraps. I'm sick of the underworld, man. It's time.
time for me to move on. It's a good fit for you, though. Considering, well, obviously. What if I say... No? Well, Alice will lock you up, and I will know just where to find you. And I will keep coming, and coming, and coming. The underworld has no shortage of souls, brother. Trust me on that. Nobody wants to die. Eventually she'll find out and she's just gonna kill you. Then I'll just have to find another way. It's just, come on. Save me the headache. Alice will kill me anyways if I say yes. A lot of good my body will do you if she blows it up. So then we gotta make it look real good then, don't we? Something funny's going on, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> How puzzling. All these... changes. I don't know who I am from one minute to the next. Running as fast as I can, just to stay in one place. I'm afraid if I don't find out soon, I'll do something quite rash. Alice? Piper, be a dear and head upstairs for me. Where am I going? The armory, of course. I'll not gain a pawn only to sacrifice my queen. Okay. <laughs> Rumpy dear, I'm feeling quite tested. I hope you're not plotting. I mean it now. Your ten minutes is almost up. If you don't bring Gelda right back down here, then I'm afraid you'll leave me no choice but to blow you both up. Best not be late. Where is it? What took you so long? Where is it? Where were you? Where is it? Excuse me! No thank you? Thank you for what? Is this what you're looking for? Did I do good? I did, didn't I? You did great, baby. <laughs> I want it like old times, Wimpy. When it was just you and me, and everybody did what we said. And no Alice. Oh, I want it like that too, baby. But someone has to stop death. <sighs> Let her deal with it. Wimpy. Let's run away together. Kelda, I can't run anymore. You don't understand. No, I don't think you understand. He'll never stop! Don't you know? Death always catches up to you. Now, I have a plan for both of us to get out of this together. You just need to give me that vial and trust me. Gilda, please. This is the one thing that can get me out of this. Wrong. I'm the one thing that can get you out of this. Me! And it's time you start acting like it. Gilda, stop! You're right. You're absolutely right, baby. I love you. Now, let's just take that and go to Alice and just give me- Where were you? What? What do you mean? I, I was- oh, oh, you really better tell me now. Okay, okay, okay. It was him. It was death, all right? He offered me a deal I didn't like, so I didn't take it. What deal? Gilda, please. A trick, a trick, all right? I give him my body, and he lets me take the underworld. You? Exactly. Now, come on! So you turn him down, then? For me? Yes, of course. So that we can be together forever? Yes. Promise me. Gilda. I promise. If this works out. Why do you make me cry? 
promise. We'll be together forever. Why do you hurt me so? the entire Hatter song. Let's get out there and do this quietly. Come on, Blue Bear. Turn just as soon as you can. Second. Where is Bluebeard? As much as I love to tear apart. Why don't you show me that wild side you were desperately keeping at bay? Are you okay? Where's the rope? Come on, where's the rope? Hey, it's just me, remember? We've got to get back inside and help. I'm afraid that's as far as I can trust you, Rumpelstiltskin. He's here, he's here. Please, don't blow him up. Aren't you supposed to be the master plotter here? What's happening? What's their game? Alice, we really need to talk. No, you need to tell me what's going on, or else I don't think I have a need for you anymore. As a matter of fact, I think I'd like you back in your cell. Listen, if you want to stop them for good, then I have to tell you something, and you're really going to have to trust me. Oh, you must think me mad. All you've done is lie. Why should I trust you? Honestly, if this was your plan, <laughs> no one would get that to your ass. Chin up, Piper. 
We'll figure something out. So this is where you've been hiding. does he mean? Oh. What do I mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? What I mean is... It's time for you to come through on your end of the deal. Man. You would do anything to wiggle yourself out of trouble. Am I right? Even killing the only woman who ever really loved you. You're real scum. I mean, I, I gotta respect that. Boo boo! Demon girl? Here, girl! Come, girl, come, come! Stay. See, I forgot to mention. It was. Consider this a way to seal our deal. Call it my signature. Any objections? No? Well then let's start this ritual, huh? Over, huh? Death. 
who will enter Rumpelstiltskin for me. And then we will be together forever. <laughs> you obviously have no idea what's gonna happen. No more talking! Time for killing! Possessed a better brawler. Good punch. You get a free bowl of porridge with that. You're really gonna get it, you blind I get the underworld, 
and you get my body as soon as we shake. He told me to. He said to blow up the wristband when they shook hands and I'd be rid of them both. Not like him to sacrifice for the greater good. No, no, it's not. <gasps> Piper! Did we win? Piper. How are you alive? I wonder what Rumpelstiltskin got out of the deal. Consider this a freebie, a peace offering. Don't forget, I know you tried to sell me out. <laughs> oh, Alice. You're cleverer than that. Hopefully after this we can trust each other a little more. I tell you what, I can make you a deal. A real no-brainer. You keep an eye on everything up there. And I'll keep an eye on things down here. to the devil you know then. Something like that. Toodaloo, Wonder Bread.
sunshine, brown bag, Sierra, yellow spirit, and a pretty smile. Not a care in the world, the streets of LA is my haven. Rain over my domain, got a little wall of ain't no play, yeah. It like my dream, stop me going the same. Cause I'm still just a girl in the world trying to navigate this plane. And here you go, just jeans and a blazer. I look away, but low key beam me with my laser. I'm keeping it cool, I'm keeping it cool, I'm making you work a little. You checking the vibe, you checking the vibe, see if I give a giggle. You leave with a good line, charming, innocent, and no.